The Duchess of Sussex has created a new animated series for Netflix called Pearl. Archwell Productions, the company formed by Harry and Meghan, said in a statement that the program will center on the adventures of a 12-year-old girl who is inspired by a variety of influential women from history. The series will be produced by Meghan, and she said in a statement that she is thrilled that Archwell Productions will bring you this new animated series, which celebrates extraordinary women throughout history. The announcement comes after the Sussexes struck a deal with Netflix after they quit their royal duties and moved to California last year. As part of their deal with the streaming giant, the couple plan to make documentaries, docuseries, feature films, scripted shows and children's programming. But reports indicated that the lucrative deal may have rubbed the Queen and Prince Charles up the wrong way. The two senior royals were said to be unhappy that they were not consulted about the Netflix deal. Australian royal correspondent Natalie Oliveri said the couple's arrangement with the streaming giant has landed them in hot water. She said, It sounds like Harry and Meghan are in hot water again. It all comes down to this Netflix deal, worth £112 million and the issue here is how Netflix has been portraying the royal family. Netflix's The Crown has portrayed some members of the royal family in a less than favourable light, especially Prince Charles in season 4, which depicts his tumultuous marriage to Princess Diana. Ahead of the couple's 12-month review in March this year, Ms Oliveri said, The Crown is Netflix's biggest show and Harry and Meghan need to make money now because they are no longer working royals. The Netflix deal is said to be an issue of contention with the Queen and Prince Charles in particular at the Sandringham Summit for next March. Harry and Meghan stated upon leaving behind royal duties that they wanted to pursue financial independence. They even agreed to pay back more than £2.4 million of public funds used to refurbish their Frogmore cottage home on the Windsor estate. But the Mirror reported in January that there is unease within the royal family about the pace at which the Sussexes have signed deals with the likes of Spotify and Netflix. An insider told the newspaper, There is undoubtedly a sense of unease over the pace at which they have entered the corporate world and the way in which they have conducted themselves relating to their various legal disputes. Relations between the couple and other royals have been strained for years culminating in their decision to leave behind royal duties in January 2020. This was intensified further after Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year, in which the Sussexes made damning accusations about royal life. Meghan alleged there was concern from a member of the royal family about her baby Archie's skin tone before he was born. Harry backed up the claim, but both refused to disclose any more detail about the conversation. Meghan also said that at one point she didn't want to be alive anymore and alleged that the institution did not adequately support her. Following the interview, a short statement issued on behalf of the Queen read saying, The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much-loved family members.